Oh, all I can taste in my mouth is garlic. I had the garlickiest lunch ever and I ate that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name's Emma, for those of you who don't know me and I make videos about my acting career. So I'm finally up to date with the acting career updates. This is all of my July updates and it's exciting. Guys, spoiler alert, I booked a job. So if that doesn't make you wanna watch what happens next then I don't know what will. So without further ado, here are my July acting career updates. Oh, hey guys, don't mind me just in my cozy vibes. It's currently half past eight on a Monday. No, it's half past eight on a Tuesday. And I had a full day at work. I'm very tired now because I came home from work and I cooked dinner for everyone. And now here we are. So I'm worried that when I give this news, I'm just not gonna sound as excited as I am feeling because I am also physically very tired. I had two exciting calls last week, which I think hopefully are already in the vlog. One call was a sort of chat slash impromptu kind of casual audition for a kind of pilot teaser for a sitcom series and i just got offered the part which is super exciting so hopefully shooting that on friday just the teaser and also i was reached out to by another director who i had applied for a short film for on mandy and he just reached out asking if i wanted to audition for a film that he's got coming up in I can hear a dog squeaking outside my door. So I sent off that on Friday as well, which I think should also be in the vlog. And he just got back to me saying that he really enjoyed the tape and if I could just do a couple of corrections and not corrections, a couple of minor, um, what's the word? What's the word? Minor notes, a couple of minor notes. And so I'm gonna refilm it. Seriously, it's so busy this week. Hopefully this shoot is going ahead on Friday. Then on Saturday, Sunday, I'm at the National Youth Theatre doing my training for the actors facilitating course assistant role that I've got what is going on i have decided and it has become very more evidently clear to me recently um i just i'm gonna shoot for more comedy roles at the moment so it's kind of cool and exciting like i'm feeling a bit like things are happening but other than that that's kind of my update uh don't know what's going on i feel like universe looking out for me right now and Fingers crossed it just keeps snowballing. So yeah, let's see what happens with this shoot and this other short film. So, eek. Might have overdone it a little bit here. It's currently like, what is the time? Half 11, just flying to job some Mandy. But the reason I'm doing a quick pop in is because I've just booked swimming tomorrow before work at 7.30. And I'm hoping that it makes sense timings. No, it really doesn't make sense. Hang on. Oh, uh, maybe I should cancel it. Am I going to focus? Uh, yeah, basically, I got sent through an email with all of the NYT information ready for this weekend. I'm really full on. And I'm just feeling a bit, like, overwhelmed. But equally, this is just what you got to do. you got to take opportunities when they come. Well, well, well. Sun is shining. Changes in the air. Jenny Leck. I'm going to work this morning. Like I do every... Oh, oh, every morning. And uh, oh, that was flattering. General election day. Sorry, my hair is still wet because I just had a shower this morning because I look disgusting. I watched all the manifesto explained videos this morning and I'm very like pleasantly surprised. We won't go into it too much. I studied politics at uni for those who didn't know. And... This is all going to be very interesting. I also, by the way, hated British politics and didn't really take much interest in domestic politics. I actually studied more um, international relations. I studied international relations, so I was much more interested in global politics and geopolitics and conflict and peace. And I don't know, shit that's kind of like bigger than just England. So this will be interesting. Anywho, I'm going to go to work now. Last day of the working week. Tomorrow, I should be going up to London for a test shoot for a pilot sitcom. We shall see. Ooh. Right, good evening guys. So it's been a full week at work, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 
but tomorrow's Friday. And basically, I've got script. I'm going to be doing a sort of rehearsal slash test shoot slash kind of hopefully going to be using the shots in the project for a pilot for a sitcom, which is really exciting. And I'm really looking forward to it, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed because it's all a little bit last minute as always. And obviously I've been working a week, so I haven't had time to learn my lines yet. So that's the job for this evening after I've had some dinner. Obviously today is Jenny Leck. So I just voted this evening as well. And it's just been quite full on. So yeah, I'm gonna learn my lines tonight. Luckily it's not too many lines. I don't think it will take me too long to learn. And I think as we go through it tomorrow, it will be like become easier. The director seems really nice and a bit more, he seems quite laid back, like, you know, Stressing trying to get everything sorted, but equally just kind of like waiting to see how it goes, like not putting loads of pressure. So I'm hopefully that's going to be okay. Like it should be a nice environment. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I'm training at the National Youth Theatre and I'm going to be course assistant, which is super exciting. So yeah, I have to go to a training day for that all weekend. It's compulsory. And I'm just like a bit overwhelmed because I, they sent out some information the other day and I was literally like, what have I signed myself up for? Like, am I even gonna be good enough for this like it's making me nervous so I'm gonna work really hard to try and prepare as much as possible for that but obviously my main focus right now is learning my lines anyway I'm rambling so yeah I'm gonna go and have my dinner and get on with learning my lines I just have to keep reminding myself to stay grounded remember that I've been chosen for these things for a reason obviously I got chosen because I can do it I can do the job the imposter syndrome is real all the time but I'm excited because I feel like I'm putting the work in and the opportunities are coming and I deserve it. So that's my update and yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend. Good morning everyone. I don't know why this is always my go-to filming spot now. Because it makes my room look so empty. Ooh, I'm really, I'm really tired. I'm a little bit nervous but mostly just excited, intrigued, looking forward to meeting everybody else. I mean, it's a shame the weather is absolutely miserable. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Guys, we're getting cozy. It's nearly bedtime. Had a shoot today. I've already put some behind the scenes. Like nothing to really reveal what's going on because I don't want to get in trouble, but I'm sure I can show a few little you know bits and vibes. I'm about to get my bag ready for NYT this weekend. I just got sent the schedule of what we're going to go through. I am so pleased because I feel so much more at ease now. I feel like we're going through everything in a lot of detail. I'm going to feel much more prepared for the job. So I feel better. I have to get the train at half eight. So early starts on both days to make sure I can get my train on time. And I won't be done until six on both days. So by the time I get home on both days, it's going to be quite late. So it's a busy one for real. But no complaints here because Putting the work in means I actually see results. And this is exciting because my acting career is just beginning. Well, it's not, like it kind of already began, but like it's really beginning now. So I'm really excited, but I'm also fucking knackered. Okay. I'm a bit early, like I got to the location and I was basically the trains were all messed up. So I ended up getting a probably slightly earlier train. Anyway, whoever is disgusting. So I've decided to go for a walk to find a Sainsbury's so that I can get my lunch and then I'll head back. So it's just kind of a shame that my weather is so bad. Hey, 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 So I thought 
I should give a quick update as to what actually happened in my training weekend because I didn't film anything and it was very draining as you heard me say quite a few times in that week I was very tired but the training weekend went really well it was super informative I got to meet all of my team I got to meet my director yeah I'm really glad I had that training weekend it was super super informative and yeah I guess you guys will just have to wait to see what happens fingers crossed it just goes well that's all I'm hoping for then I had another week of work and at the weekend I went down to the North Face Climbing Festival in London which was super super cool. Saw a lot of my friends that day, it was lovely and then the next day was the football final so I watched that at my boyfriend's house and obviously sad times for England so we won't dwell on that. And then I got on with another self tape so here are a few more bloopers. Okay. Bunny, bunny, bunny. <laughs> ready? Yeah, 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 I'm just getting ready. Just getting ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. There yeah. You. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You are. Cut off! Let's go again. Okay, okay. Ready? Kind of. Oh, I did it wrong again. I lost it. Why am I doing it the same again? Why am I literally doing exactly what I just did? Right. I hope this doesn't look really obvious when it poops open. No, that's fine. Let's go. Like, yeah. yeah. And then the whole last thing. Like, really, like, ridiculous. ridiculously. No! I'm so angry. No! No! Okay, 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 okay. This is just a little real quick O-O-T-E up on the evening. Um, we've got the Clint's, the lucky stripy socks. A fun stripy skirt that could probably do with an iron, but don't have time for that. T-shirt that I cropped and hemmed. And yeah, basically, I'm going to meet a director now in London just for a drink. It's popping up. Just popping up, I'm going to come home again. Who reached out to me because he found my backstage profile, but he's actually based in Canada, so he hasn't been in London. But he was like, oh, I'm going to be in London. Do you want to get a drink or a coffee? And I was like, yeah, dude, let's do it. So we're going to meet a director today. Okay, I feel like I need to explain this a little bit better instead of just being like, look what I'm wearing and then not telling you anything that happened. So yeah, basically a really lovely director called Charles Burroughs. I really hope I didn't mispronounce that. Reached out to me and as I explained, we went to get a drink and it was super, super lovely to meet him. He was so nice and it was just really validating having someone reach out to me and he's done some really, really cool stuff. So I'm gonna put his Instagram and his website in the description if you're interested in checking out his work. He's done a lot of like comedy stuff, fashion films, he's won awards, like he's actually very, super interesting. And yeah, it was just super lovely to meet him. We had a really good time. It was really nice to get to know each other. And especially with my recent sort of, I'm gonna go for comedy angle. I was just chatting to him about that because he is a comedy director and he was like, why do you think I reached out to you? And I was like, stop, stop it, stop. So yeah, a little bit of an ego boost, always nice. And it was just really lovely. So I don't know if Charles watches my videos, but if he did, it was super nice to meet you and I'm sure our paths will cross again. Wow, it's the hottest day of the year. I look so sweaty. I just had such a nice day. Ellie came over, we hung out, chilled in the sunshine. Gorgeous. And Jodie had a spare ticket for the theatre tonight. Her friend unfortunately wasn't feeling well and bailed. So I'm going to the National Theatre tonight to see a show called The Hot Wing King, I think. Anyway. I'm gonna get ready now, have a shower, I'm gonna get ready to go, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be lovely. I shall see you guys when I'm ready and not looking like a sweaty little gremlin. I'm not even gonna reveal what's under this hat because to be quite honest, you don't wanna know. Guys, I am such a Muppet. I was just editing this bag. Obviously there's me just like filling in all the gaps and I missed one. So I'm back just to fill in on the hot wing king, hot wing king. It was really, really good. I would really recommend everyone to go and see it. It's on until September, I think. So plenty of time to see it. It was in the Dorfman Theatre, which is just like round the side of the National Theatre. And it was just like, I was, I honestly didn't know what the play was about when I went to watch it, but it was super cool. It hit loads of really important, like socio-political parts of, I guess, what it's like to be an African-American in the community they were talking about in Memphis and in the queer community as well. So literally was just one of those plays which hits everything it was hilarious it was heartwarming it was educational it was just like amazing and it was all centered around chicken wings so what more could you want in a play so yeah really recommend seeing that 
and back on okay so that is everything for july wow what a video it's been acting jobs it's been self tapes it's been training it's been meeting directors it's been a time so thank you everyone so much for watching this video and thank you all for your support honestly over 800 now what is happening baffled and lost for words so thank you all so so much for your support it keeps me going and let's just see what happens next i'm currently filming this at the start of august so i'm actually up to date now there's no more like little videos of me chatting but secretly knowing that like something else is happening no like now i we are all just as clueless as each other now so <laughs> let's see what is in store so if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and yeah feel free to comment any other videos that you want to see from me yeah i don't know also just if you wondered where this top was from th this little number oh oh this i made it yeah i've been really into my so oh i'm matching shorts yeah look whatever follow me on instagram if you want to see the other shenanigans i get up to ms Orlando. and that's enough self promo for one afternoon that is that okay bye <laughs>